Hello, my name is Tom Palmer and I'm a children's author and during this short video I'm going to talk to you about scrapbooks. Um, I know a lot of schools when they're doing a class read build up a scrapbook to record um, what they think of the book they're reading and their reflection on it and gather images and stuff like that and that's what I do when I'm writing a book as well and this is a short video to tell you about that. One of the things, one of the reasons that I I do a scrapbook is that I, although I do notebooks like this, so this is a notebook for one of my books, full of ideas from my research um, and, and thoughts from um, people I've interviewed, I, I struggle sometimes with describing things from a load of notes. So if I've just got a load of notes like that, I struggle to, to capture a character or a setting um, or kind of a feeling through the book so what I do is I, I create scrapbooks and I just wanted to tell you a little bit about that showing you some of the scrapbooks I've done so the first thing I want to mention was characters and um, it, it's some books there's quite a few characters and um, especially for instance my Roy of the Rovers books there's like there's at least 30 footballers um, and sort of five or six main characters and their parents. So I have to make sure that I really think about all the characters and know what they're like. And that's why in the Roy of the Rovers scrapbook, what I do is I get the illustrations of some of the characters and cut them out. And so I've, I know now I've got Roy and his mum. That's Roy's dad. And um, that's Roy's coach. And there's Roy's sister down at the bottom. And that just helps me when I'm writing the story. It, and there's some of his teammates as well. And that helps me having pictures of the characters or drawings, which I might do. It makes me realize what makes me remember what my characters are like and makes me not miss any of them out. Because you can you can sort of miss characters out if you don't have them in your mind's eye. And that's why I find that like, this is really useful for me when I'm doing the Roy the Rovers books. I've also found um, the characters useful as well when I've been doing my history books. This is my after the war scrapbook. So that's the that book, which is a story about refugees who survived the Holocaust, children. And this is my Arctic Star scrapbook. And as you can see, oh yeah, an Arctic Star was my is my newest, newest book. And um, as you can see, there are people on the covers. There's a picture of three boys there who are real refugees who I based my story on and three sailors there. And these pictures really, really help me. For instance, this picture. If I'm, if I'm developing these characters um, who are children who have lost all their families during the Second World War and they've come to this country as refugees, I need to, I need to know a lot about them. So I get pictures of the real people from history and I start to look at them. Do they all look the same? Are they all happy? Or are they some of them laughing and some of them pretending to laugh? Um, what's their body language, what are they wearing, which one are friends, which are not. I just find like photographs like that really useful to help me develop who my characters are. And it reminds me as well, when I'm writing the book, I might go through this book, for instance, this scrapbook, and think about who my characters are and look at them in the situations that they find themselves. So I'm sort of seeing what they're going through as characters. And that just helps me make them more believable like this is this is the mess deck where they where they sleep and that just really helps me and that's where i suppose where characters and settings come together because i've got to describe people characters i've got to describe places settings and in the same way like looking at these characters in their settings like the engine room of the ship and um, in arctic star or on the deck of the ship as that terrifying wave comes to break over the over the um, the bridge that really helps me to describe the places my characters are as well so I don't I, I don't have to rely on going back to my notebook and thinking oh, which bit of description shall I use I can use photographs and it just helps to look at the photo for a bit and then write the description of my characters or then write my description of the, the setting and, and that I find is a really good way and that for me is, is why scrapbooks are so useful because like you in class, if you're making a scrapbook to interpret a book, to react to a book, you're sort of drawing out the characters and the settings and the, the themes and all that sort of thing when you're 
when you're responding to the book. And it's exactly the same when writers write. We're, we're creating up a bank of ideas and thoughts and images. And I keep my images in scrapbooks like this. I want to show you one more scrapbook. This is a book I'm writing at the moment. So I'm not allowed to tell you what it's about because my publisher won't let me. But um, there are like, I do have like the usual character things. Um, I do have, I'll just cover that up. I do have my, my mind maps and my plans in it. And that's because when I do my plans, I kind of move on to the next stage of the plan. But if I keep my plans and my mind maps, it just makes sure that I keep everything in mind. Um, so I don't forget some of the things um, that I wanted to put in the book. Also, I've got, I kind of, this the book I'm writing at the moment is kind of got four, that's the best way of putting it. It's hard to put it into words, which is why I do this, to be honest. It's got four areas in the story. It's got four, what's the best way of putting it? Four themes, let's call it themes. And and so what I did, covering it up, um, I did this, so this is my plan. This is my plan. So that's that's chapter one, two, three, four, five, etc. cetera. Um, and um, that's, sometimes it covers the green theme, the red theme, the, the white cream theme, the cream theme, and it goes through, and I've got a little, little um, what do you call it? I can't remember. A little um, map, not a map. You can remember the word for that. That's just to tell me what each one of them means. Did you see what I mean about me being rubbish with words? But pictures, pictures and images are really useful to me. Um, so that's what I do in a scrapbook. I'll just say, I can't show you anything else in here because it'll give away through my books about. So, so that, the, but that's my bottom line. I, want, I wanted to show you that I use scrapbooks to, for images of people for characters, for images of places, for setting, and for plans like the different stages of the planning that I go for, go through, so I can just go back and check um, what the what the plot and the storyline the storyline is. The last thing I wanted to mention before I finished is there's one excuse me unexpected advantage of of doing a scrapbook is and it's to do with one of my favourite words in the world is juxtaposition, right? Juxtaposition, and it means I'm sure lots of you know, but it means um, putting two things next to each other, creating a third new sort of thing. So putting one character in a new setting and you create a kind of a new story that's never been told before. And that's what I tried to do with this. Um, and like just by putting pictures of, of um, like for instance, an old family from when my book is set to modern day people who've helped me write the books just putting those photos next to each other and then putting things like a photograph of where my book is set next to a, a newspaper clipping about an archaeological dig that was done in that place once all those buildings had, had been removed. And just, just those sorts of things, juxtapositions, putting things together brings new ideas for stories. Like, for instance, if you had five pictures that you wanted to put into a story, just put them in different combinations and juxtaposing them next to each other means that you might come up with a, a better idea for your story so that's what i do with scrapbooks i hope you enjoyed hearing about my scrapbooks i can show you three of them so that's arctic that's after the war that's arctic star which is about the navy and the second world war and the other one which i put down here is my scrapbook for roy of the rovers oh yeah one more thing sorry before i finish with roy of the rovers because i've written so many roy of the rovers books i forget exactly what happens in each story so what i do is i create a sort of a, a summary of what happens in each story and in doing that i can just when i write the next one i can go back and make sure and check that i've got everything and um, everything in the right place and i haven't repeated myself so that i don't forget things i forget things scrapbooks help me imagine better describe things better and remember things better. Thank you for listening. And I hope that was, um, as some teachers asked me to do a little video about that. So I hope that was useful and um, explaining why I keep scrapbooks. All the best.